Holy moly, we were one hit away from dying. That's just nah. <laughs> oh, that's so good. And we got some demonite ore, which is kind of cool. Can we forge that at a normal... Can we forge that at a normal biome? Did we get cash? Oh, let's get a bug net. Get a bug net because I've noticed lots of fireflies are spawning around here. Which is really cool. Yes, we can make demonite bars. How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and here we are. Back in our Terraria 1.3 Expert Mode playthrough. As always, this is a 100% bonus series on top of the other programs we usually have on our channel. And today, we're going to kick things off by getting something started uh, that I've been wanting to do for a while now. And that, this area has been looking perfect the whole time too. I'm going to create a fishing hole here. And I'm also going to use a little glitch where these three buckets of water will fill the hole completely. Also, there's golden squirrels now? I just uh, caught one with my bug net. I'm like, hey, buddy. Okay, and the traveling merchant is up on our arena. Let's see what he's got for sale. Ooh, the lifeform analyzer, part of the cell phone. Some pad tie. I probably could buy some more of those. Or oh, the katana. Wow, should we get it? This is a good opportunity. Yeah, I don't think I can pass it up. Okay, so it's four gold. And we got a keen katana. Nice, nice. Um, I won't... I'll just have a play around and like compare it to the spear, I think. Pretty good. Auto swing. I think that's going to help a lot, guys. Wow, I can't believe our luck. And I might just get... Ooh, maybe three more pad ties because they're pretty expensive. Like, they're useful, but they're expensive. Okay, so... Basically, to get the most out of a fishing hole, it needs to hold 300 blocks of liquid, which means it needs to be sort of... The dimensions are up to you. I normally make it 15 blocks deep by 20 blocks wide, and it sort of makes a landscape sort of rectangle shape. Okay, so we've got our nice uh, fishing pond set up here and what I'm going to do is actually build the angler's house over it so he can stay nearby and not get killed by all the bloodthirsty monsters. So let's put a chest down and that's what we're going to keep some fishing stuff in and I'm going to start with doing the water expansion glitch. Now this is my knowledge of it, I'm pretty sure this is how it works so let's give it a go. So what you do is you make it like a W shape. Okay, so you make it like that. And then we need an empty bucket, so let's spill some water in there. And then you spill the water on top of two half blocks. And then what actually happens is each half block will give you a full bucket of water. So effectively, you're getting... Uh, two waters for one water if that makes sense to you. So obviously this is going to take a little while to do but it will result in us getting lots of water. So obviously <laughs> I'm sure you guys can think of better things to do than to watch me painstakingly do this for a little while. So yeah I'm going to do this and fill up our pond because I really want to start fishing um, I think it's important you can get all these new items from uh, fishing in Terraria. So yeah, I really want to get this done. So I'll uh, I'll see you soon. <laughs> Thank you. 
So, that's how you fill a pond with water, with only a couple of buckets of the stuff. Um, it took a while, but I'll be honest with you, it was actually strangely relaxing doing something like that. Uh, it just lets your mind wander and you chill out, and yeah, it was really cool. So, what we need to do next is I want to go and get the angler NPC, and we'll collect some palm wood and build like a little fishing shack above this, and then we can get started. So this pond is 300 blocks of liquid, which means we'll have max fishing power for whatever equipment we're using. So, uh, I might wait for morning light though, it's a bit dark and scary. Here we are in the jungle, and we're making our way back to where we were very early in our adventure. Uh, I think I got to a couple of chests, and I wasn't game to go any further because we were very fluffy and new then. However, we're coming back as a katana swinging crazy person, so this is uh, it's a bit better now. Oh wow, look at all the vines dropping. So yeah, so things are a bit easier these days, which is nice. The uh, We lucked out getting the katana from the traveling merchant. It cost four gold, but we had eight from the Eye of Cthulhu fight, so I think that was a good, a good purchase. Okay, so we're into new territory here. We have not been to this area of the world. So who knows what is in store for us. But uh, I am actually kind of excited to... There's so much I want to do. Like, I want to go to the underworld and get some stuff. Ooh, climbing claws. Yeah, we'll take those. Actually, we'll take everything. We'll take it all. <laughs> There's another thingy up there. No, uh, it's alright. Okay, what else? No, uh, it's not that very good. But we'll still take it. We'll still take it. Look at all the piranhas! It's a piranha party! Hey buddies! What's going on? That's it. Just stand back. So we're trying to make it to the beach so we can... Oh, fall down a hole. Oh, oh, don't get distracted, I want to go explore the jungle, but... I don't think we're ready, like... There's a few things I want to do first, there's um... We really do need to get the angler happening. Um... So, just so we can start fishing, and uh, ooh, I also want to get some mushroom grass seeds to start a over overworld mushroom biome. Ooh, that's iron. That's worth picking up. Okay, we're gonna stop and just pick this up quickly. It's a it's a pretty good chunk. And uh, yeah, we need to get to the underworld. I want to get some furniture and make a few dungeon rooms so we can get some more NPCs moving, which will be handy. And uh, yeah, there's just there's so much to do. Is this, uh, hang on, is this a this is a proper living tree? We had we passed one before, but it didn't have any uh, rooms in it. But this one, besides being really tall, <laughs> it's like crazy tall. It's actually got a loot room. So let's make our way inside. Oh, I'm excited. What's gonna be in here? What? There's nothing in here. It didn't have a loot room. Oh, jibbed. Jibbed, I tells ya. Oh well. What can you do? I mean, you know, you can't win them all. We've, we've been pretty lucky so far with everything. Oh, hang on. What's that? Is that... I think this is just a normal... Uh, I don't think it's a living wood loot room. I think it's just a cave. Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. That's world generation for you guys. Sometimes it's nice, sometimes it's just baffling. And we're out. We're back in the game. Might pick up some cactus along the way. Ooh, water leaf. We definitely need that. I've got way too many mushrooms. I can probably pass on the normal potions and the boomerang. Water leaf is very rare. And because it only blooms during rain, it does take ages to get a good supply going. Uh, just taking some cactus so we can make some cool cactus sort of rooms in our our awesome base. Whoa! Okay, jump off the cliff! Woo! Oh, there's the angler. Lovely! Let's wake him up. Hey, buddy! You'd bet you'd be a great helper minion. The bumblebee tuna! Bumblebee tuna, bumblebee tuna! Now, there's a couple of rooms here. I'm, I'm interested to have a quick sneaky peek. 
And just see if there's anything interesting in here. Maybe a golden chest for happy. Maybe no boulders. <laughs> no boulders. No, no, no. Bit of iron. The room looked more interesting than it actually is. What can I get rid of? Uh, blah, blah. Two platforms, surely. Nah, there's not much around here. A couple of rubies. Yeah. Okay, we can always come back later. I don't need the rubies right now. I'd rather... What I really want to get is all these palm trees. And yeah, sort of start building a palm house. So, let's see. Let's get rid of the blink root. So, yeah, so I'm just going to dig up some of these. I might replant them, hang around for a bit, get some more palm wood. Because I'm going to need a bit to make like a bit of a beach hut. And I want enough to make the furniture as well. So, I had a fun night uh, harvesting and planting palm trees. So, we have got up to 225, which was nice. And there was tons of zombies out here. So I thought, well, what else am I going to do? Because you have to be off screen for trees to spawn. So basically I leveled out some more areas and just kept fighting lots of zombies and yeah, sort of had a bit of fun with it. Um, and we finally got a shackle, which is nice. Uh, we got two, but the one I'm wearing has three defense, which is pretty nice. So yeah, I've been just running back and forth and farming lots of, lots of palm wood. But I think we've got enough to make our beach shack back at base. So I can always come back here to farm some more palm wood later. Which is cool. So, the time has come. So what I want to do is have it on some like little stilts. Um, and then just have the beach shack on top. Because I find if you build NPC houses too low to the ground, they just get killed. And we don't want that. So that was really fun making that and uh, now we've got a nice beach shack ready for our fisherman to move in. So yeah, and seeing it's the only available house, he probably already has. Yeah, <laughs> nice one. Okay, so he's on his way here. Hey, what's going on here? What are you, what are you doing, game? I don't want a fence there, I want the torch. Let's try out our new fishing rod. So hopefully we catch some good stuff in here. Okay, bass, that's a, that's a strong start. Good old bass. And I suppose we'll know if it's working if we don't catch too much junk. <laughs> it's when you start catching like tin cans and, and all that stuff. So guys, let me know in the comments, what do you want to see with fishing? Like obviously the more you fish, the more items you can get, crate potions, all that good stuff. I want to do a bit of fishing, especially because it's expert mode. Um, but obviously me sitting here just fishing over and over again may not be the most entertaining thing to watch. So, yeah, you need to let me know. You need to let me know. The other thing I can do is if I'm going to have a fishing session, just record it, right? So, so hear me out. So basically I would just record me standing here fishing. So say it, it's not an episode, I'm just like, yeah, I'm going to do some fishing. And then if I catch something cool, I can show you on camera. So I can be like, oh, you can see me reel it in. Like, so if we get like a, a Zephyr fish or something like that, or we just, I don't know. I, you know, I haven't fully explored. Oh, we got the quest fish. <laughs> cool. Actually, if I walk off screen, the angler should move into his house. So I'm going to walk off screen. Yeah, so that's a good way to do it too. So, yeah, I'll be far, like fishing away, fish, 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 and I'm recording. And then, yeah, so if we catch something awesome, uh, I can just sort of put it into the video. There he is. He's moved in. So we should get a reward straight away. 
Yeah, apprentice bait, sonar potion. Cool. Detects hooks fish and an apprentice bait. So what I'll do is I'll stock up all the potions and all that good stuff we're getting. So I want to do a bit of fishing right now. So let, let's try out our new system. So I'm going to fish, I'm going to record. If I catch anything cool, I'll come back and talk to you about it. So we fished throughout the night and we got a pretty good haul. Well, I got 47 bass, which is always great. And uh, yeah, we got a couple of crates. So I want to open them, but I'm also going to make a kettle. Now, because the bass that you get are pretty much useless, you just have to cook them. So I should be able to make a cooking pot. I'm just going to use all that iron, but it's worth it. So then whenever I do fishing and I catch like just tons of bass, I can just cook them up. So I think when you stand in front of it, you can make the cooked fish. And they've buffed it. Bass only used to give you three minutes of a buff. And now it gives you 20, which is pretty cool. So that's actually going to be a nice little extra. And I think we'll add it to the... What's his name again? The Angler's House. May as well put it in here. There we go. That's looking cool. Beautiful. Yeah, that's cool. And now when we eat the fish, we should get the well-fed buff. Excellent. So I don't know about you guys, but I want to open some crates. So let's see. Uh, I don't really need extra banners. Let's put the bomb fish in here for now. I'm just making room for all our new loot. Okay, that should do. All right, do you want to start with wooden crates? Yep, let's do it. Okay, so, whoa! Apprentice bait, cool. And two gold, nice. Obsidian skin, actually that'll be good for mining uh, hellstone. Mining potion and tin bars. <gasps> and the iron crate. Fingers crossed for something good. Whoa, yeah, we got the mini mini door. Mini 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 door. <laughs> and we got some good bait and a gravitation potion. So we have a new pet. This is awesome. Mini Minotaur, so good. So let's put our special baits in here for now. Oh, I might as well. No, I might as well carry them. Might as well carry them. Mana potions don't really need. And let's put the extra fish there. So I'll sort my inventory and let's go down to the underworld. Let's get today's quest from the uh, blah, 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 the angler. A fish. Fish, Fishron, Fishertron. Okay, Fishertron, caught in caverns. So caverns is quite deep down, but luckily that's where we're going right now. We're going to make our way down to the deepest part of our elevator we've gotten to. And we need to continue it, but hmm, maybe we can do it through here. This area looks all right. So, actually I brought a mining potion too, to speed up things just a little bit. Because we don't want to be mining slowly. And I haven't forgotten, some of you have asked me to make a nice elevator. And we made the entrance in the first episode, I think. First? Second? Something like that. And uh, it's ready to go. So, yeah. As we, uh, as we explore more, we shall, we shall expand it. This is a really good patch of iron. It's not a really good patch. That looks like a more underground mushroom biome there. Which, they can have life crystals, so we will definitely, definitely have to show- Oh my god, how much iron is here? This is amazing. Check it out. And iron's really good to collect because you can make boss summoning tokens out of it. Like the mechanical skull, eye, you know, all that good stuff. So let's keep going this way. And then we'll just mine across. This is a handy little hole. Oh, is that a spider biome? Excellent. Excellent. So we know where that is for hard mode. I'll just see if I can put a... Yep. So we can come and get spider fangs when uh, hard mode starts. Well, I say it like it's going to be easy. <laughs> yeah, we'll just come in and fight some black recluses, no dramas. That'll be easy. Hey. 
I've got a katana now. Oh, it's throwing bones. That's cool. That's cool. Alright. So here we are. Oh, 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 oh! Yeah! Too fast for you, Mr. Boulders. You know what happens when I talk tough to boulders, don't you? I'm probably going to die to a boulder any moment now. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, a life crystal. Yeah. Now I did. Oh, I said I was going to save one. Let's hang on to it for a bit and see if we find any more. We don't. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yes, another one. This is amazing. Is there going to be another one again? Could we be that lucky? Three in a row. Oh, I just threw my whole. It's scouting down. Oh, I don't know. Let's have a look up here. Oh, yes! Three in a row! Oh, that is just not. No, that's not possible. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Three life crystals in a row. That's just not. No. Oh! It's like a an underground mine track. That's pretty cool. And I'm on a minecart. Woo! Chugga, chugga, chugga! I don't even know where I'm going. Woo! Okay, thanks as always for watching another episode of our Expert Mode Let's Play. I'm having a great time doing it and can't wait to explore that cavern a bit further. Who knows what we're going to find. Alright, so time for some shoutouts as always. We've got XX Dynamic Vision XX has asked me to say, don't leave the clan, even if you lose 10-0. We've also got Kersel Danito has asked me to say in a witch's voice, <laughs> Come here, my kitties! Um, I don't know if that sounds like a witch. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> We've got Phoenix Evans has asked me to say, I like turtles. <laughs> turtles are cool. Uh, we've got King Slime has asked me to say, I am your father, Wyvern. No, Slime, don't kill yourself. <laughs> and... To finish us off today, we've got Gaming with Dan has asked me to say, in a pirate voice, he's asked me to say, Dar, he's a pirate, ha ha. Uh, there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like, keep showing this new series some love. The Gavin series will be back very soon, and I know everyone wants, everyone wants to see Serena. I just, you know, I'm trying to juggle all the Let's Plays at once, so everything will be back very soon. So keep showing us some love, keep those comments coming with suggestions for our expert mode playthrough. And if you haven't subscribed yet guys, click that little HD icon in the bottom right corner. <laughs> you won't be disappointed, you'll have a great time hanging out with us. Alright, until next time crew, stay happy. I'll see you next time. This is Happy Day signing out. Bouncy Slimes. See ya! And that means that Ectoplasm will be, yeah, getting farmed nicely. And you can see that was dead easy to set up that. So the mobs can cruise up the sides, the mimics can get in which is one of the main things. Yeah, we've got lots of good loot. It's just, oh he's got 3,000 health! He's only got 3,000!